Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Right, well that's easy enough because we can put a bus route from Upper Los Angeles up to there. And then I'll also put in a truck route from over this side out to that one and back. Uh, so both of those are fairly simple undertakings. That one over there, I was thinking about doing that with the train. Run the train out to there and back. Although I don't know. I mean, yeah, it, it would be nice to have a train running. And then I can distribute goods from the train station. We'll build a truck station here. This big, nice big area in here I could do. So if I was to take something like that one. Configure. Can I copy? This is what I want to do. So can I copy what is there and paste it somewhere else? And it doesn't look like I can. So I'll have to build a brand new one. And just do something similar to that. I mean, it doesn't need to be that grand, but uh, yeah. All right, so next one over here. Mr. Weber bets that your boss won't be able to break the speed record for circumnavigating the globe. If he does, he'll surrender his shares to him. Now he needs to train to win the bet. Keep an airplane in the air for an unbroken time of at least three minutes. Well, that should be easy enough. 180 seconds in the air. <laughs> Alluvian. A little job for you. Oh, you just sit there, hovering in the sky until you've run out of fuel. Um, I'm sure you'll be fine. You packed a parachute, didn't you? you uh, he packed his sandwiches. Whether he remembered the parachute, I'm not quite sure. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll hope we'll hope that he's, he's got it right. Okay, so we've got passenger and cargo there. And I think... I think I remember some of the stuff from the last one about where the signals have got to go. I mean, I, to be honest, I don't at all. But um, I, I can I can remain ever positive and hopeful that just maybe, maybe I can remember it. So I'm going to try and build... Right, that there is a mountain. So I've either got to bring it to the shoreline and then cut through, because I'm going to want to put a station near there. Or, yeah, well, we need to go round closer to the road. But I don't want to go through there like that. Thinking that side would be... I mean, ultimately, if you think about it, it would be more sensible to go the road side of things, wouldn't it? Now, which side... Right, I don't want to get too close to the road from here. But I could go up to there, like that. And then bring it round. Like that. And then we run it down to there. Now I want to go to buildings. And I want a cargo station, a modular cargo station like that. We want to bring that one round. And I want that one to go there. Just like that. I want two tracks running through it. We will do 240 length. Let's go for four tracks running through it. Yeah, go for it. Four tracks running through it. I've got plenty of money. It's not like I've got a shortage of cash. So I'll put that one there, and then I will do the same. I'm going to do another one over here. I want one of this. I want one over here. Um, except that this time, I'm going to want this one here, look. I'm going to bring that one round. No, I'm going to do it like that. And that one's going to go there. That's going to be the main station for Santa Barbara as well. I suppose I could do it a bit differently than that. Right, hang on a minute. There, There's a couple of ways that we can do this. First, I want to upgrade this road a little bit. So we'll go here, and we will go into this side. Right, there we go. Large country road with a limit of 100k. So we can upgrade that to a large country road that will run through there. That one I already can't upgrade because I've gone and put that one in. So we need to go with that one which is an upgrade on what we've got. So I will upgrade that one as well. That'll be Country Road going into there. Um, yeah, that's fine. That can stay as Country Road there. 
you, and then you up to there. This will be upgraded up that way. That will be upgraded, and that will run right into the town over there. That's already a decent road up through there, so I'm, I won't go any more than that. This one, I've got this great big road on here, so I could knock that back down a notch down to there. Then... I'm going to want to take another road from here, and that one, I want to bring that out over this way, like this. I'm going to put one to there, so it's got that triangle. But then I want another one that will bypass this town altogether. I'm going to put that up to there. You are going to run all the way up through here, so we will upgrade this road. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be wanting this road upgraded later, I suspect. So if I do it now, we'll, we'll get it all done. So it's out the way. There. All right, now I don't need to worry about it. Uh, Bakersfield, we've got a little bit up there. So I will upgrade that bit up that side. That extra bit of road there. And then I want one more. And this one is going to go from here. And it's going to go across there. That is the bypass. That bypasses Santa Barbara and allows traffic to flow free and easy from one city into the next. And I will put that bit in there. there. So I've, I've got vehicle access up to here if I want it. And then I've also got that bit. So now we go back here to the train station. You're probably wondering at this point what on earth I am playing at. Um, I do have method to my madness. So I'm going to bring that one over to there. I was actually kind of hoping that this would be enough to connect with that one up there, but it's not. It's enough if I do it to here. All right. Get rid of that road now. And then I go back to here. And what I'm hoping is... If I can bring that round a bit. All right, that's... Not going to be enough there. Right. Get rid of everything up to there, like that. And then I can put the station along here. There, like that. Uh, let's line it up a bit straighter. There. Right. There is where I'd like to have the station. Then I want to bring train tracks out of there, and I'm going to put these train tracks, I'm going to have four of them coming straight out across here. I'll deal with extra bits in a minute, and then we're also going to want to put some roads out. So I want that to go across there like that. And then another one the same. And then you over to here like that. And one more over here like that. And then I can come over this way and I can join these all in like this, see? There. And put that one into there. Right. So I would also like to have... The station done here, like, I've got that bit there, there is a crossing on that bit. But then beyond that, I don't understand anything about how it works. Right, everything beyond that point is complete and total confusion for me as to exactly how I'm supposed to signal everything correctly on this. And that's, that's the bit that I struggle with. So I'm going to see if I can get this whole signaling thing done correctly. I probably can't. I would also like to upgrade this station a bit. So this one's actually passengers and cargo. It's passenger on that side and cargo on this side at the moment. So if we go into this station here and configure, then we want to add cargo uh, I want platform. Cargo platform on here. No, I don't need cargo platform on there yet. I need tracks. That's what we're going to have next. So standard tracks with the cantonary thing. Construction blocked. By what? Oh, locked. 
It's not going to allow me to add anything extra to that station. For whatever reason, I can't add any extra. So the uh, extra tracks that I've got up this way, they're not anything I can use at the moment. I'll have to do something different with that. I'll worry about that in a bit. Now, next bit. I've got tracks that will come out that way. They're going to want to head off this direction, so... I won't do anything with those just yet, but what I will do is I'll get that road over here. And this is just a simple country road. That's going to go over there. And then it's going to go under here. And I'm hoping that makes it close enough. It doesn't. That is not close enough to get to the Santa Barbara one. The road here is... Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> All of this wonderful plan, and it's not actually worked at all. I need to get that one close enough to there. I, the, you know what we've got to do? So I've got to turn that one round. That's all i got to do. If that one's facing in the other direction... I, I wanted the road to be joining up here, and then... Yeah... There's no other way to do it, I don't think. Unless I can... Can I move that road? Let's have a look. Move those bits there. Like that. There's nothing different there. We will try this very quickly. We will see if we can get that to join into there. Like that. That's about as close as I can get that one. There. There. And then I will go here, and I'll remove those sections, and then I will go back here, and I will take that one, and I will join that, that's as good as we're going to get on there, and then that one will go into there. That's a bit of a mess of a road there, but it works, right? We've got some major junction going on here, I don't really know, quite know what's going on with that, but then... No. Yeah. If you if you mouse over it, it should have that one should be lit up white, but it's not lighting it up white, which means that I've got that wrong. I'm going to have to turn that round and have it facing the other way. So I will remove you. Oh, wait a minute. Can I? I wonder if I can do it. Wait. There's 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 got to be another way to do this. Okay. Road here. I want to put that road there like that. And that road can go there like that. That one can go not like that. Get rid of that one and that one. And those bits. And then go back into the road. Want that to go straight there. Yep. And you go straight down that way so that you're directly opposite. And then if I go here... Remember, we can configure these endlessly. We can absolutely configure these endlessly, can't we? So I can take what I've got here, which is large main building there, which is the same main building I've... No, that's the main building I've got there. And I can put that one out there. That's giving me a collision out that side. My road is too close. What about that one? Road's too close on that side. I can put a yeah, I can put a smaller cargo building on there. I can put that one on. Like that. Medium main building. Medium side building. Like that. That should actually that I think is all I need to do. I don't think I need to do any more than that. I've now got both sides touching. So then when yes, look, see, now that one. Click on it. That one's now lit up white. Okay, that is all I needed to do. That was all I needed to do, was just add a bit on that side so that it was connected up. That's perfect. Which means that this mess of a junction here, we want to get rid of that one. That one's definitely got to go. Uh, let's get rid of that one there. And then we'll, we'll do it a slightly staggered junction, I think. Because you here, I need to bring that one down. So I will bring you up there like that. So you'll just come straight on round, 
And this one is going to go up there like that. You here are going to go onto there. You're going to go down that way. There is a lot of junctions being put in here. I'm well aware of that, but I think it's worth it. And then that one's going to go there. So that's actually the by main bypass road. It's going to go up there. But I've also got this road here that can be used for accessing the station from down here. And then there's a quick shortcut one through there because why not? It's just an extra one. It doesn't actually need to be needed there. It need to be needed. It's not needed in there at all. Uh, so then I'm looking at this bit and I'm thinking, how do I signal this correctly so that the trains coming in aren't going to have any issues? Right, I've got over this side, we've got one signal coming in that way. So this would assume that the train comes in that way and he goes out that way. Right, so the train goes this direction and then he waits to decide which, which station he's going to go to. The train coming out goes up that way. And then we're not going to need crossovers, are we? I don't think we do. But I will put some signals on here. And I don't know if I'm supposed to put signals. So I want to put a signal going that way. Settings one way, yes or no? Now what about the signal that's already here? Does it tell me whether this is a one-way signal or not? If I go yes... Right, I could try making it so that it's one way. Because that one, mm, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that should. You will go there. And then I've got another one that will go in the opposite direction. Because that one's going there. And then that one will go in that direction. Going up through there. And then I'll bring another one in over here. One that way one that way and then we'll come over to here and then I'm going to put tracks again and we're going to do a crossover I do one point that side and one point this side and this is the bit that I don't fully grasp the concept of is is making these crossovers there's the crossover done but where am I supposed to put the tracks uh, the, the signals right I've got that's the signal coming that way. I've got a signal coming in this way. So if I put one there, do I put any more in? I've got some pairs of signals up there. Am I supposed to put a signal actually at the station? Because I've got you there. You're locked up to that point. And then this is the bit that I'm not sure of. Is Do I put a signal going into... Well, not, not in the middle. It didn't have that on any of the others. Put one there and one there. So I've got a signal coming out, signal going into the station. Or do I not put a signal at the station? I don't know if I should put... I don't think I want to put one at the station. I think I want to just leave it like that. And then I want to put another crossover point on this side. I'm trying to remember what was done on the last lot. Like that... Like it was... It was absolutely... It was like witchcraft. It was genuinely like witchcraft, that one in Switzerland. I was I was witnessing witchcraft being performed right there on the game and I don't know how it worked. Right, that's how I know it was witchcraft because there was no way of telling what it was doing and how it was working. This one is the same as the one down the other end. So that's a signal coming in from that side. And over here, I've got one signal that's coming in from that direction. Down here, look. I've already got one coming in from that way. And I have no others. So you're coming in from that way. Then I think we put one that way and one going that way. And then I will try and put a cross over here. I don't know if we've got room to put a cross over on this bit. We might have. Let's have a look. Yes, we do. Ideal. Right, excellent. And I think I want to put one that way. I want to put the signal there. Stop that one going. So that one's going in that direction. Got those two signals are fairly close together. 
And that's, that's it for signals. I'm not going to put any more. Now, I have no idea if that is what I'm supposed to do or not. This could be completely wrong. This could be completely right. At the moment, I've got no clue. Uh, but, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely worth a try. And maybe this will start helping me on my way towards understanding the massive complexities of how all of this thing works. So I'm just going to put this one down here somewhere. We're going to spin it a little bit. And I'm going to dump it there like that. And then I'm going to take a track coming out of this bad boy. And it's going to go from here down onto the track down there like that. So... Where, which way does it go? That one's coming in that way. So there's a train that will come up. Ooh. That one needs to go over onto this side, doesn't it? I think. I think that one needs to go up onto the other side. So if I, if I do that a minute, and then I go back onto the tracks, and I take that one there, I'm going to put that one right through onto that side of the track there, like that. Because that's the direction that the trains are coming in. Coming in here. And then they should be going out that way. So this one here, we would put a stop there. And this one here, we would put a stop here, wouldn't we? I don't know if that was right or not, whether I should have done that. See, I'm... <laughs> I, I think I get it. Whether I'm supposed to set this as a one-way system or not, I don't really know. Like that one there, why has that one got only a, a partial light on it? What's that about? No line passing, one way. Oh, they're saying one way. You hear one way, no. Right, so that one's got... Oh, I see, that one's saying one way. The others are not saying one way, but then they, the others don't really matter. Right, I need a cargo train now, and we want to get barrels of liquor from up there down to the San Francisco train station. All of this is, is just so that we can get that bit done. So then I want to go in here to buy vehicles and look at the selection of trains that we have got here. Diesel locomotives. We've got the Super Chief locomotive right there. The Alco PA series is often described as the most beautiful and aesthetic diesel locomotive ever built. P stands for passenger and A means with driver's cab. So this is a very nice looking locomotive right here. Electric, we've got the PRR class CG1 right there for $13.5 million. How much is the diesel? At 6 dollars Um... So that one, with its beautiful streamlined design, the CG1 not only looked good, but it also reached high speeds and remained in service for many years. This would be more of a passenger type thing, I would guess. I mean, I don't know. Three and a half thousand kilowatts of power that one's got. This one's got 1,600. Um, this one's got nearly as much power. It's 12 and a half million. This locomotive, commonly known as the Bipolar, was one of the most interesting and complex ever developed. It consists of no less than three articulated parts. And under the steam engines, we've got the 282 Mikado, most common freight locomotive until the end of the steam era. More than 9,500 were used in the US. The 4122 Class 9000. These locomotives were quite successful, but a nightmare for maintenance because of their internal third cylinders, which powered the cranked second drive axles. Okay, so they were a bit of a problem. They've got a good lot of power on here. 430 kilonewtons. 228 kilonewtons on that one for tractive effort. The electric is 500. And that one's 227. So they're, they're pretty powerful beasties, these one. This one, 430 kilonewtons of tractive effort. That is quite the beast, that one is. That is quite the beast. 30... 13 million and 2 million here. And then we've got the 442 Hiawatha. These high-speed Atlantic locomotives were fitted with streamlined fairings. They were built by Alco to tow the Hiawatha passenger trains on the Milwaukee Road. Much lower. So that's, that is a passenger one rather than anything else. I think this is the one that I want. At least for now. Because it's the most powerful one. And I think it's best suited. So we're going to get that 
absolute monster right there for 13 million dollars and then we're going to go and have a look at our wagons that we've got so you've got different passenger ones here i'm not getting passenger i just want to have a look at what we got the six axle axle passenger car right there heavy passenger with more comfort to serve the long distances across the u.s classic pullman heavyweight passenger coach was an institution it was widely used in american railroads that one right there is 19 capacity, whereas this one's got a capacity of 20. The Super Chief Wagon is 18. First attempt to make passenger cars lighter. This type was made of aluminium with corrugated sidewalls. Right, so that one's actually got the, the most on it. But anyway, this is what we're after. So we've got a flat car with side stakes right there. Um, That's not what we're after. Then you've got the gondola here, which will be carrying sand. And then you've got the box car for tools food and booze and it's booze that we're after build date from 1900 all the way up to 2000 box cars are what i want this is saying excellent right here and now it's gone to good at 162 meters long uh right 138 long and it will it stays at excellent i don't know how big this station is 127 and 15. Let me just come out of there a second. Configure. How long is this station? It's three sections. Right. Away from there. Go to here. Building. Station. 120 meters. Uh, right. Right. That's 120 meters long, that station. I can't make it any longer than that. So I've got to limit my train to 120 meters long. That's all I wanted to find out. So we go back in to buy vehicle. We will go to our steam in here. That's the one that I wanted. And then cargo and it's box cars. And I've got a limit of 120 meters at the moment. So I can't have that last one. 115 meters here. So, it's going to be going top speed on this six, I've got seven cars I can fit on it. Until I'm allowed to modify that station, this is what we are left with. 17 million. So, let's see who the lucky, because I know that um, getting a, a quality train is what most of you are actually after. Um, and most of you end up being trucks or buses. Um, so, who is the lucky person today who's getting this beast of a train? Thor. Thor, I don't even know if you watch this series, to be honest, but at the moment, you are the train. Right there. I'm not going to colour it, but I am going to make a new line for a minute. We're going to go new line there, and it's going to be San Francisco train station. And... Hmm. I don't know if there's anything I want to... I don't think there's anything I want to get from that one. So I would go to Santa Barbara Transfer over here. Ooh, Mr. Hughes Factory. Tools there. So I could be getting tools, but I don't think I've got... I've got booze is needed over here, but there is no demand for tools anywhere else at the moment. So I won't do anything else. I will leave that one as it is, and we will just run the Los Angeles distillery back through into town back here. Like that. That's the line that we're going to run. So then I want to go into my vehicles in here. I want to go... Uh, well, I can just run down through my vehicles here. Uh, Thor, right there. I want to put you onto line three. It's got a problem. Right, line three is going through both ways on here. And it's doing what I want it to do with going on the one-way stuff. Looks like it's gone to line three. That's good. Let's go and have a look at Thor out here. See him in all his wonderful glory. Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we've got time for today. Sometimes even our fantastic pilots, train drivers and lorry drivers and bus drivers and boat drivers and all the other drivers need a little bit of rest so while they rest up and have a cup of tea if you've enjoyed the episode could you please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time 
Thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.